welcome to the first of my lessons on using Ableton uh, with special emphasis on looping guitar, which is what I do. So I use the Ableton loop quite a lot. I've got a lot of control over it through uh, an FDB 1010 MIDI foot control. But uh, I'm always looking for new things and I discover this nice little trick. So we have here one of my old guitar loops, which I'm going to use as a signal. And on this next channel, where the signal is routed through, we have a looper. And you can see that some automation has been added to the speed, which is what the point of this is. So let's play the background track and record something to the loop. Switch off the input. And there we have the loop running. Um, I've tried to get the volume balances right, but I'm new to this narration lock and it's proved a real pain in the ass. So, here we have the loop, uh, the, the loop clip I should say, with the looper speed going down. So if you run that, it drops and stays dropped. So here's another one where it comes back up. And here we have one where it's going up and down, kind of weird ways. And we can edit these to make it smoother. Obviously we can set this up in batches of three, four, five, six. Uh, dotted triplets, dotted crotches, whatever you want. Um, so that's up and down. Then what I did here was a nice low, a nice slow. I'm hearing echo in the headphones. This is what I'm talking like a gibbering idiot. So it goes down from normal speed over a longer period to three octaves down. And I thought at that point, what I wanted to do is stop. So we've gone to the looper state. And right at the end, we've gone from play to stop. So if I trigger that one, and if we watch that through the loop, so the speed's going down, and then it stops. And I went a stage further on this. And I've gone to, oh, I'm going to go to the reverb which I've put in there. Decay time. I'll have the decay time going sort of there. And we'll have, no, let's just take it right up. So, that, so now the loop is going to lower in pitch and the reverb is going to go up. Um, providing that is we switch the reverb on. And at the end, the looper stops on the reverb, carries on. Just finally, I did a reset clip, which will set the decay time fairly well down, and it will set the looper speed back to normal. So. When, if I've gone down three octaves, I can quickly reset it. Right, that's just about it. Uh, thanks for listening, and apologies for the abysmal state of this video. It took me nearly three and a half hours to get the damn computer listening to my voice whilst playing Ableton. And I've got a damn echo in my ear. Uh, any questions, do get in touch. www.looping.me.uk Thank you.